and they both had their chances. Lim took his. Oh, Lim wants to win. He doesn't want to be unlucky. He'd rather be lucky and get through. One hundred. Playing for a bit of money, and he wants to. He wants to play the big game. He wants to play the young Smith. You know what I mean? Put him under a bit of pressure because he will do. Because he gets through this, he will play better later. I was talking to him early. I said, "How are you playing, son?" He said, "I'm still playing all right. I, um, I'll get through this first round." He said, that "I'll be ready then." He's just a bit nervous about this yeah. game. You can see the patches coming. He said, three one forties. He almost took out the one thirty. As I mentioned last year, he had the one seventy. He's still got it in little patches, hasn't he? It's, it's, it's the consistency that goes, isn't it? And, and the concentration that goes. Is it? It's the concentration. That's what it is. Where we before we'd be able to concentrate through the whole game and not even worry about it. Now we start thinking of other things which you shouldn't be doing. Why you missed this and why you missed that. Where before, if we missed it, we thought, right, we're going to hit it next time. It doesn't matter why you missed it, you can't do nothing about it. It's cool getting old. It is, it comes to us all in the end, I reckon, my friend. 60. Well, this is a big leg for Hashimoto, isn't it? Because 3 1 down in a race to four is a big, big deficit. That's right, and plus also he'd be three one down and limb throw. So uh, I think the most popular score of, of the the preliminary games has been four one all the way through, funny enough. Got three or four of them. And one four three there was. That's a great shot. That's, that's nice starts. Let's put the pressure back on Paul. It has. Just one side of the line. 55. Well, that's Andy for Ashimoto now. He knows he's got six starts that run of mine. So don't do that and hit silly singles, then he'd have been all right. He'd have been guaranteed two darts at a double. Now, still should just make sure you the 20 minutes. 45. Well, in the end, he left the two dart it. Callum can hit his fourth 140 of the evening. Hashimoto is going to be under some serious pressure to clear up the 56. Paul was one of the first dart players to use the long, the long point. And he's, he's always liked the old long point of darts. Right, here we go. Double top for two all. That's unlucky. That's a good dart. Well, he's had ten attempts to double, he's only hit one, but not all of the nine misses were bad darts. That's for sure. He's wired three or four of them. Lim will not be going out with 1 3 1. Goodness, well, he really has taken the heat off Hashimoto. That's better. That's better. This has got three all written on it all the way, isn't it, eh? And someone's going to miss two or three darts at a double. It's going to be very costly. I don't think uh, Michael Smith, if he's watching that, could have been right. a bit worried at all at the moment. But, uh, but the winner of this will play better later on. Yeah, this is the most nervous game of all, this, isn't it? Six Just eight. first to four legs. You've come from the other side of the world. You don't want to be going home after ten minutes of darts, do you? That's right, it's not as if you just drove down from Brighton, and, you know, he's a couple of hours home. You know, you've, you've come over here, you've been here four or five days. Time difference, getting used to it, finding a pub to practice in, getting used to the food, different food and different different beer, if they drink beer. I mean, our beer's completely different there, where they, they drink at home and everything's... Yes, you're, it's your worst nightmare to get beat here, especially... Especially getting beat 4-3 and missing three darts at a double, because well, then it's a long flight home. Expert darting analysis and the good beer guide from the great Eric Bristow. We're a pub sport. We like a beer. There's nothing wrong with beer in moderation. The crowd are warming up. I think they're going to be ready for later on, don't you, when the big boys have come out? Yeah, Adrian Lewis, uh, the star attraction tonight. Two-time world champion, starting his bid for a third world title. There are not many players in the world who have won more than 
three world titles. Well, Only so three, far. in fact. That's right. What's well, that next to me? Yourself, Taylor, Barney Army. Few have won two, isn't there? Is it Priestley's won two? Yep. Oh, Lowy won three. Don't forget Lowy. More than three, is it? More than three. Right. 30. John has indeed won three. Jockey won two. Oh, yeah. then, here we go. Another one there. Yes. Good. Double eight. Oh, the big man was chasing the big finish, but not the worst time to miss. I your opponent on two five six. I used to do that one three six, and if anyone. If You're that far in front, and then the guy's hit a 140. He's back in the game. I'm annoyed because I'm back on 136 and I lost the leg. But up now, he's 3 2 up now. Now then, my predictions are going out the window here today, aren't they? I had to, I had to the first lad Brown who lost, but he did have a shot at nine dart, and I think, yes. that's, I think that's what cost him the game. The pie man did, didn't play brilliant, I mean, it wasn't a good game. Well done, the fireman, though, but he's got 16. through. And now Paul Carnival, no more mistakes now. Anyway, it's talking about Lewis and that earlier on, what he was on about. I mean, uh, Lewis is playing great darts the last six months. And he's going to take some stopping in. Indeed. I think uh, Michael Van Gerwen with rattles and cages, didn't he, when he won the Players' Championship by beating Phil Taylor? But prior to that, I think... Nine out of ten pundits thought Lewis was the second best player in the world. Well, they still do. And they still do, yeah. Yeah, they still do. And uh, if they do meet in the semi-final, which is a long way off, I mean, none of them might be in the semi-final. It'd be a lovely game to watch. Because when them two play each other, it's a ding-donger. Hey, hey, the Joker's here. We've had a few Jokers over the years on, on our stage in darts. <laughs> I'll beat a few of them, that's for sure. Seventeen. Nice last start. Nice Important last start. start, wasn't it? Well. Yeah. Standing room only for Santa. <laughs> I love this crowd. This crowd. This crowd is mad before Christmas. Well, they mad afterwards, I mean, before Christmas, they, they all the Christmas parties come here and they're, and I'm at the front front door and then I see them all come in. Yeah. I see this nutcase earlier on the bin. <laughs> he, went, he went into the toilet earlier on, he was in there for 45 minutes, and I know he went to the toilet in that bin. <laughs> Tonight's darts has been brought to you by the number 180, and now Hashimoto has left himself 1-3-1, one, one. that would be a fireworks finish. Remember, it's for the match. Well, this is more than handy. More than handy! He's giving himself a squeak. That was a good shot under extreme pressure. Yeah, he, he, bad shot there. He, he was out. And Hashi's thinking, now oh, that's a great first start. Well then, count properly. Treble 13. Yes, double 16 for a great one. Free one out. He's done it. He has done it. And it will be done. Da, da, da. Hashimoto later on tonight when he faces Michael Smith, the big man from Japan. He's not only big in Japan, he's big at the Ali Pali. Hashimoto has beaten Lim. 4-2.